Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media for great production content. In this tutorial, I just wanted to take a quick look at some of the ways we can export loop audio for use in, say, another DAW. With the new 2.4.6 update, we've actually got a couple of new ways of working or new refinements to the export audio dialog that give us some new options. Before we even do that though, I just want to break down what we've got here in the software. I'm not actually shooting video of the hardware because this really is totally independent of the hardware specifically and is really easy to do just from within the software. So I've set up a basic simple two beat section. Maybe if we were building up beats that we wanted to bring into something else, we could do this with more layers, but it would just complicate the tutorial, so I left it very simple. So we've got a basic intro that only has stuff from one beat, and it sounds like this. And then we've also got... A couple different parts, like some from, say, a verse, some from, say, a chorus. And we've got something like beginning part of a bridge or a breakdown. and then say the buildup of the second half of a breakdown. So again, pretty straightforward and pretty simple, but that's because I wanted to keep it simplified for this tutorial. You can get as complex as you want as far as this export goes. The first thing we could do, if we just wanted to look at individual patterns, and if we're working with MIDI, we maybe want to just drag our sections of MIDI or of audio Specifically, we saw that it immediately tried to render that audio like I was going to drag it somewhere. And if you, maybe you're working with this not full screen, you just want to drag a piece of audio to your desktop, that's one way to do it. It's also really good when you're working inside of the DAW. When we want to get a whole bunch of content, whether it's the whole song or entire sections that we've selected, we can use the export audio dialog, especially in conjunction with our new loop function, which comes about in the 2.4.6 update. The key command for that is literally just L on your keyboard to turn that on or off. All we need to do is come to File, Export Audio, and let's just take a look at what's happening in here. First of all, we have some basic options. Normalize is just going to bring the absolute highest peaks in that section up to 0 dB FS. We also have a Loop Optimize function, and Loop Optimize is just going to make sure that it does what it can to minimize, say, clicks or pops at the changing or the ending of a loop. So it's going to just chop off the audio waveform, what's called the zero crossing. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have perfect loops, but it's going to prevent some of the things that cause your loops to have clicks or pops. So it's generally, if you're wanting to export loops, it's a good thing to have that option. Now we also have our split by scene. If we want to just export everything all at once, but then break it up by each of these individual scenes up here, then we can just check that box, hit export everything, and it'll just come across broken up by scene. And that could be a really useful way of, of dumping a bunch of stuff really quickly. There's certain circumstances where I'll use that all the time, and other circumstances where I just, I'll avoid it. And it's really kind of dependent on what you're trying to do with the audio. And of course we have our type of file, WAVE or AIFF. I generally recommend stay with WAVE. If you're all Mac all the way and everything's going into machine or logic, maybe get AIFF, but pretty much everybody likes to work with WAVE as far as other DAWs. It's generally a you know, best practice to stay there. And as far as sample rate and bit depth, we want to work at what's called our native resolution, where if the rest of our project is at you know, 2444, we might as well have our audio coming out of there, so we don't have to reconvert it again. It's not the end of the world if you have to reconvert it. Most conversion algorithms are pretty solid these days, but just save yourself the hassle and the step and make sure that it does match up to wherever you're going. So if everything else is at 2448, we'll just leave it there. Anyway, so now we've got a couple of options here. Again, we have this all function. If we want to just export everything from each of the groups, or say, just beat one, there it is. We just select that, uncheck beat two, and hit export. Where's it going to go? By default, it's going to go to your documents, native instruments, machine exports. And if you want it to go elsewhere, often I'll just dump it to the desktop or something like that. We can just do that, and boom, just like that. But I'm going to keep it at the exports file for right now, and then we can just name it whatever. And so if now if I hit export, it's only going to export B1, and it's going to create a folder called Group Outputs. And so if I flip over to my desktop, we can see right there we've got ADSR Loop Export Demo Group Outputs. Come in there, but because I only had B1 selected, there it is. 
Now, if I had instead wanted to come over and do the whole split by scene thing, and now we export it. Now, if I flip back over here, and it's created a new folder. Now I've got each one broken up by scene. So if you've got fully sequenced out beats and you want to do it like that, that's a great way to go. So let me go ahead and delete those. Let's flip back over here. Now instead of that, maybe we can come into, whoops, let me uncheck that. And let's just instead grab a loop. And if we want to select a particular section, even if it includes multiple scenes and I want to export both of these together, I can come in here to File, Export Audio, and just make sure I select everything. I'm going to do Master Output. Sure. I'm just going to call this and hit Export. You saw that it did a real quick loop optimize there as well. Now I come back over here, Master Outputs, Single Audio File because I uncheck Select by Scene. So what we got there, the output of both of these together, regardless of the fact that they were in scenes. Now, if I wanted to instead maybe grab them by group outputs, I can do it like that. And in fact, if I wanted to go by sound outputs, I could grab all these other ones. Now, one thing that's important to realize here, though, is it's going to export every single one of these, even if there's nothing in particular in that section. And it's important to look at this outside of keyboard mode, because keyboard mode, you're only going to see what's on that particular one but we can see that we have MIDI in each of these, and if we want to make sure that that's all being exported, but nothing else, we need to only check the boxes that correspond to channels with MIDI in them. And so we want to make sure that if there's different uh, sounds or, or MIDI, MIDI notes in different sections, we need to make sure that we check those as well. Let's come over here to File, Export Audio. We're in Sound Outputs, and again, we can make sure that, okay, let's get that kick in there. There's the snare, closed hi-hat. And you come down to that noise as well. Make sure we get that. And now when I hit export, let me change that to sound outputs. Let's go ahead and export just this loop section and we'll see what happens. And if I flip over, now we can see the sound outputs and we've got both that one loop. I only had that one loop section checked as well as the different And so that just gives us a little deeper level of functionality. However, most of the time, what I'm trying to do here is select a larger section and then maybe break it up by scene. Let me unmute this and we'll go to File, Export Audio, Options, Split by Scene, Loop Optimize, and then just make sure that we're getting each of everything and export it. And so now we've got it broken down We've got an intro section, we've got a verse section, and we've got a chorus section. All of those are going to be split up, and they're going to be ready to go, loop optimized for me to drag into my DAW. Let's see what we got there, but I think we're pretty solid. Here's our group outputs, intro beat one, intro beat two, or verse beat one, verse beat two, chorus beat one, chorus beat two. So you can see we've got a lot of different ways we can work. So I hope you got something out of this. I'm Stephen Ellisted for ADSR. Again, please make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Take care.